question. Can we solve this problem mm -hmm. in another way? And if we can, is it not our moral obligation to insist that this now become the way we do things? I think I'm beginning to understand what you mean in here by a well-informed futility <laughs> syndrome. Yeah. Well-informed futility is an idea that psychologists hit upon in the 1960s, specifically to explain why the people watching television news about the Vietnam War came to feel more and more futile about it, whereas people who watched less television felt less futile. So it seemed like a paradox, right? The more informed you are, you think of knowledge as power, but in fact, there is a way in which knowledge can be incapacitating. And, and so the psychologists have went further and now have applied this to the environmental crisis and point out to us that whenever there's a problem that seems big and overwhelming, climate change would be one, and at the same time it's not apparent that your own actions have any mm. meaningful agency to, to solve that problem, you're filled with such a sense of despair or guilt or rage that it becomes unbearable. And so my response to that is basically what the book Raising Elijah is, is all about. So I try to take well-informed futility as my starting point and let people know that there is a way out of this. And but because we can't, I can't honestly tell you that the problem is less bad than it is, the response has to be that we scale up our actions.